all right guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we're going to see how to download and install visor so before moving forward let's just see what is visor so visor is basically you can connect your phone to your laptop and you can you know use apps play games on your laptop itself you can control your phone through your laptop now one more advantage that you have why i started using visor was if you are a developer and you are using android studio so if you use android studio you are familiar that so you can see here that this emulator that you use on android studio to run your apps is very slow very 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 slow but if you install visor your app will be installed on your phone in seconds you can use this you your phone it's a mirror to your phone you can use your phone on the laptop itself you can even play games and what not on the laptop screen using your phone okay so we'll see how to install this so the first thing you have to do is open up your browser and then go to this site visor.io okay after going here you can see on the front page itself we have this option called as download so let's click on download and now we have like what where do we want to download it for so if you are using windows download windows if you are using it for mac then download for mac linux and you can even use it on your browser itself okay but we are using windows so we'll just click on windows here and now the download should start okay now as soon as it's downloaded just go to your downloads folder okay and here we'll just click enter Here you can see now this pop-up has appeared and Visor has started installing on our system. Now you can see that pop-up has appeared. Now the next step that you have to do if you want to start using visor is very simple the first thing that you need to do is install something called as ebd drivers okay so just click on this ebd drivers and again you will be led to this site where you can see universal ebd driver why do we need it because it is used to connect our phone it is a drive that drive that is used to connect our phone to our laptop so that visor can access our phone from the laptop itself so what you have to do is just click download and again you can see it's a pretty small file so it will be downloaded but by that time let's see few more things till it's downloaded let's click reload now and even our universal ebt drive has been downloaded okay now as visor has been you can even connect it to the same network device but if you want to use it using your, your usb cable you can also do that so what you have to do now is get your usb cable okay now i'll just connect my phone with visor and uh, i've plugged in my usb cable now as soon as i plugged in my usb cable you can see that there's a serial number that name that is given to my device and if i just click on this view button you can start seeing what is happening in my device right now okay so if you just click here a screen will appear and it will check if visor is installed on your phone or not you have to install visor application on your phone as well okay if you want to use it you have to install on your phone as well so it will check automatically if your visor is installed or not if it is not installed it will install and after successfully installing it it will connect to your visor on your phone and here is the screen of my phone okay so this is what it looks like and i can operate it directly from here okay and the changes will appear on my phone as well so that's it that's how you can use visor on your windows 10 operating system and the other thing that i already have installed is universal abd driver if you don't have it installed you might you need to install it so it's pretty simple as well we'll just click on it and it'll say preparing to install just click next 
next leave everything to default just keep on clicking on next and the installation of universal abd drive will adb drive will start once is installed you will get a clean uh, screen that says finish so you just click on finish and then your universal adb driver will be installed and your visor application will start working so that's it for this video if you liked it make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel comment below and also like it and share it with your friends i'll see you guys in the next video